These maritime behemoths serve their nations as floating air bases. They're a sign of dominance and power, but it's important for these carriers to stay up to date with the most cutting edge technology. Let's take a look at the top 15 most advanced aircraft carriers. Number 15, USS Enterprise CV-6. Not to be confused with a certain starship from the future, the USS Enterprise CV-6 was the seventh vessel of the name and was the sixth aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. This Yorktown-class carrier made her debut back in 1936 and is just one of three aircraft carriers to have been commissioned in the years before World War II. But this iteration of the USS Enterprise saw her fair share of action, participating in more military actions against the Japanese in the Pacific than any other carrier. That included the attack on Pearl Harbor, where she was the only manned carrier at the time and the first to sustain casualties. The Battle of Midway, the Battle of the Eastern Solomons, the Battle of the Santa Cruz Islands, and the list goes on. It's a pretty safe bet to say that the USS Enterprise has plenty of stories to tell from over the years. She's even earned 20 battle stars for her efforts and was the most decorated US warship during World War II. But the real jewel on her crown is that she was the first American ship to sink a full-sized enemy warship, sinking the Japanese submarine I-70 at the end of 1941. The USS Enterprise was a resilient ship, having been thought to sink on three separate occasions. She earned the nickname, the Grey Ghost from the Japanese. Number 14, USS Midway. The USS Midway has an interesting origin story. This aircraft carrier once served in the United States Navy and despite its name, wasn't commissioned until the end of World War II, one week after to be exact. But once she was finally built, she was an absolute marvel, earning her the title of the biggest ship in the world for a full 10 years until 1955. The USS Midway was so big, in fact, that she was the first aircraft carrier too big to fit through the Panama Canal. But she operated for 47 years and saw her fair share of warfare during the Vietnam War as well as the Persian Gulf War, where she was the flagship vessel. And despite the credentials, the USS Midway is more famous for her longevity than she is for feats of battle. But she is without a doubt one of the most versatile warships in history. She was finally decommissioned in 1922, but remains on display in all of her enormous glory at the USS Midway Museum in San Diego, California. Number 13, USS Franklin. Also known as Big Ben, the USS Franklin is an awesome aircraft carrier and one of 24 Essex-class vessels built during the Second World War for the United States. The fifth ship to carry on the name of USS Franklin, this awesome aircraft carrier was first commissioned in 1944 and did her duty mostly in the Pacific Campaign, where she earned four battle stars. Unfortunately, though, in 1945 and at the height of the Eastern Campaign, she sustained several serious injuries during a Japanese air raid and lost more than 800 of her crew members. Believe it or not, most of that incident was captured on film. Although heavily damaged, the USS Franklin lived to tell the tale and went on to become the most heavily damaged vessel of the US's fleet to survive the war. But perhaps that fact should be marked with an asterisk, because after the attack, she spent the rest of the war undergoing repairs back home in the United States. She was put into the reserves and repurposed and reclassified as both an attack carrier and an anti-submarine carrier, and then once more finally as an aircraft transport. The USS Franklin has seen and done it all, and even though she was sold for scrap in 1966, the legacy she left behind for her resilience lives on. Number 12, Akagi. The United States wasn't the only world superpower in need of maritime strongholds. The Japanese had built their aircraft carrier, the Akagi, or Red Castle, which entered the Emperor's service in the 1920s. Originally built as a battle cruiser, the Akagi was converted into an aircraft carrier just before Japan began to spread its reach. During the rebuild, her original three flight decks were consolidated into one amazing enlarged flight deck, an island-like superstructure in the middle of the vessel. Amazingly, she was the second Japanese aircraft carrier to enter the service and was the country's first real large fleet carrier. At the time, Japan would group its aircraft carriers together to concentrate their air power and deliver deadlier strikes than their allied counterparts. And while the country's military may have been on the wrong side of history, the Akagi will forever be known as part of one of the strongest aircraft carrier forces of all time. Number 11, Sao Paulo, A-12. 
Moving into more modern times, the next entry on our list is the eighth biggest aircraft carrier in the world. Weighing more than 32,000 tons when she's at full capacity, the Sao Paulo A-12 is a Clemenceau-class aircraft carrier and currently operated by the Brazilian Navy. Interestingly enough, the Sao Paulo was originally commissioned by the French Navy in 1963, but later sold to Brazil back in the year 2000. Today, she's got enough room for a crew of almost 2,000, with a quarter of that number being part of the air group crew. Her flight deck can hold up to 39 aircraft, which includes fighters, fixed-winged aircraft, and helicopters. But not only can she scramble fighters at a moment's notice, but she's also armed to the teeth just in case she runs into any trouble while at sea. But with her size, the chances of her being outclassed and outgunned are pretty slim. The Sao Paulo's armaments on board include her SACP Crotale EDIR system, Simbad missile launchers, and naval guns, all of which allow her to engage with both aerial and surface threats. But when you take a step inside the vessel, she's working with six boilers that generate 126,000 horsepower that let her reach a max speed of 32 knots, making her one of the most powerful modern-day conventional aircraft carriers in operation. Number 10. USS America the first amphibious assault ship to make our list, the USS America is an aircraft carrier operating under none other than the United States Navy. It is their first vessel in the fittingly named America class. She's been assigned as the flagship vessel for the United States amphibious group in their Navy, which is fitting seeing as how this beast has a total displacement of a whopping 45,000 tons. She can carry everyone and just about everything when the going gets tough. A vessel of her class is specially designed to carry helicopters and fighters with both vertical and short takeoff landing capabilities. So when she shows up on enemy shores, they better head for the hills because the USS America is bringing her special marine expeditionary unit into the fray, which includes helicopter gunships and V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft, supported by the insanely fast and deadly F-35B Lightning II. Number 9. Juan Carlos I Another awesome and advanced amphibious aircraft carrier is coming to you all from Spain. Named after the Spanish king Juan Carlos I, this vessel belongs to the Spanish Navy fleet and is employed as a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship carrier. The sentence may be a mouthful, but it sums up the extreme versatility of the Juan Carlos. Commissioned in late September of 2010, the Juan Carlos is also the first vessel within the Spanish Navy to use a hybrid diesel-electric propulsion system, so it may not be so nice to the enemy, but it's certainly very eco-friendly. The vessel has a total displacement of about 26,000 tons, with an extra-long flight deck over 660 feet long, and even has a built-in ski jump ramp. They say that it's used for their special forces, but there's no doubt that the crew is fighting over who gets to use the jet ski in their off hours. But seeing as how it's an aircraft carrier, the Juan Carlos is also packing some serious heat on board. The ship can easily accommodate the Harrier jump jet, F-35 Lightning II, the CH-47 Chinook, and V-22 Osprey. The list of fighters that have graced the runway here goes on, but it proves again the versatility of the ship. All in all, the ship houses 900 naval personnel, but also comes equipped to accommodate up to 1,200, making it more of an ocean fortress than a ship. Number 8. Cavour. Since we're already in Europe, why not make a trip to Italy to see their big bad aircraft carrier? The Cavour is the flagship of the Italian Navy, and it's easy to see why. First off, it has a full load displacement of an amazing 30,000 tons, which lets it carry all sorts of toys. The defense system on the Cavour range from short-range defenses to massive naval guns to decoy launchers. The Cavour is not messing around. And then there are the vehicles that are kept on board as well. All in all, this aircraft carrier is just over 800 feet long, with a flight deck over 760 feet and 110 feet wide, meaning there's plenty of roof for the most advanced fixed-wing aircraft like the AV-3B Harrier and Joint Strike Fighter and the EH-101, AB-202, NH-90, and SH-3D helicopters. And the vessel can also hold up to 24 main battle tanks. The Cavour was also built with six diesel generators that carry it through the water at a maximum speed of about 16 knots. So it may not be the fastest aircraft carrier out there, but it's certainly one of the deadliest and most advanced. It's not the kind of thing that you want to see coming towards you on the horizon. Number 7. Charles de Gaulle as the 20th century was coming to a close, people felt like we were going to be jettisoned into a future and take the next giant leap forward in terms of technology. And the French Navy wanted to be part of that journey. 
which is why they cooked up their aircraft carrier, the Charles de Gaulle. Entering service in 2001, this carrier is named after the famous French World War II hero and eventual prime minister of the same name, so needless to say, this aircraft carrier has a lot to live up to. Thankfully, it's able to deliver on just about all fronts. For starters, the Charles de Gaulle is France's first ever nuclear-powered surface ship and the only nuclear-powered ship to operate outside of the United States, easily the French Navy's most important flight carrier. The Charles de Gaulle is a 780 by 103 foot ship with a total displacement of about 42,000 tons that can easily carry 40 fixed-wing fighters and helicopters like the AS-532 Cougar, E-2C Hawkeye, and the SA-365 Dauphin, just to name a few. Amazingly, the Charles de Gaulle has been built not only for battle, but for stealth as well, even when it travels at top speeds of up to 27 knots. Number 6. INS Vikramaditya The title of the largest warship in service in the Indian Navy goes to the crown jewel of their fleet, the INS Vikramaditya, and this just also happens to be one of the biggest aircraft carriers in the world. The ship is almost 1,000 feet long and is a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier that entered service quite recently in 2013. But this massive aircraft carrier once served the Soviet Navy under the name Baku, as well as the Russian Navy under the name Admiral Gorshkov after the fall of the Soviet Union. But the Indian Navy brought this massive carrier back in January of 2004. While technically the ship was given to their Navy for free under the condition that they would pay for the $800 million overhaul of the ship and another billion dollars for the aircraft and weapons systems that would be installed. That's not a bad deal, all things considered. The INS Vikramaditya also has a maximum displacement of 45,000 tons, meaning it has no problem carrying around a maximum of 36 aircraft as it navigates the world's oceans. And just some of the firepower on the tarmac, 26 MiG-29K multi-role fighters, and another 10 Kamov-type helicopters. Number 5. Liaoning The Liaoning is the first and only aircraft carrier in operation and service of the China's People's Liberation Army and Navy, also known as PLAN. This heavy-duty maritime vessel is a Chinese Type 001 carrier and holds the honor of being the fifth largest aircraft carrier in the world. It was initially planned as the second-ever Kuznetsov-class carrier for the now-defunct Soviet Navy, but once the USSR disbanded in 1991, it was purchased by China. The ship needed to be rebuilt and recommissioned for plan 20 years later in 2012. As it stands today, the Liaoning is classified as a training ship, offering a platform for the Chinese Navy to experiment with, train, and become more familiar with aircraft carrier operations. And the Liaoning has an incredibly large displacement of more than 58,000 tons at full load and can carry around 50 aircraft, which include fixed-wing fighters and helicopters. Number 4. Admiral Kunetsov One of the best carriers currently in service, hands down, is the Russian vessel Admiral Kunetsov. This Kunetsov-class aircraft carrier serves as the flagship of the Russian Navy with a full load displacement of 58,000 tons and is an incredible 1,000 feet long. It serves as a multi-role vessel and is absolutely armed to the teeth. You do not want to be on Admiral Kunetsov's bad side during wartime. It's bringing Su-33s, MiG-29Ks, and Ka-27 PLO helicopters to the battle, all of which are some of the most advanced military aircraft to roam the skies today. It also has more than enough room to fit the ship's 1,960 company men, 626 air group, and 40 flagstaffs on board. But perhaps more notable, the Admiral Kuznetsov suffered from a fire at the end of 2019. The Russian Navy's been able to turn that setback into an opportunity to completely overhaul the ship. By 2023, the Russian Navy is expected to bring the new and improved Admiral Kuznetsov out into the waters again, complete with new avionics, ski jump, flight deck, electric equipment, and a power plant, as well as a new fully domestic takeoff and landing control system. Number 3. Nimitz Class the next entry on our list belongs to the United States Navy. The Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are the second largest of their kind in the world. When it comes to the Nimitz-class, they are the best of the best and show off all of the features you would expect when it comes to this type of vessel. They are incredibly deadly and house a four and a half acre long flight deck that can carry up to 60 aircraft at once. The Nimitz class houses up to 3,200 members of the ship's company, 1,500 air wing, and another 500 crew members. The entire ship is powered by two large nuclear reactors and can reach a top speed of 30 knots and has a total displacement of 97,000 tons. 
Needless to say, this thing is huge. The Nimitz class was originally constructed in 1968 and launched in 1972 as a multi-role carrier and served in some important campaigns in the Persian Gulf and was even used during humanitarian efforts. Number two, Queen Elizabeth class. Of course, the largest aircraft carriers in the UK Royal Navy owe their name to none other than Queen Elizabeth. The Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are the third largest carriers in the world, the biggest warships ever built for the British Navy, and the second largest of the non-US warships after the Japanese Yamato class battleships. And they certainly do live up to their prestige. The HMS Queen Elizabeth was commissioned in December of 2017, and the HMS Prince of Wales was commissioned just in 2020. Both vessels are utterly massive, with a displacement of close to 72,000 tons and are about 918 feet long. Both vessels feature the latest and greatest in wartime technology and automated systems, but only require a crew of 679 for combat operation, making them some of the most advanced vessels to hit the world's oceans. Number 1. USS Gerald R. Ford Named after the 38th President of the United States, the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers are the largest in the world. The first carrier in their class, the USS Gerald R. Ford, was commissioned in May of 2017, with another four vessels announced shortly thereafter. The Gerald R. Ford is set to leave for her first deployment in 2022 and will have a full load displacement of 100,000 tons with a 255-foot wide flight deck that features an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, a state-of-the-art advanced arresting gear, and dual-band air search radar. She'll also have enough capacity for a total of 75 aircraft and over 4,500 onboard personnel. In all, the USS Gerald R. Ford cost the United States Navy an impressive $13 billion and will undoubtedly go down as one of the best aircraft carriers of all time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.